So we have justice in the reverse. And this could be you who went through this. This could be someone that you're attached to, someone that you have detached from. This could be someone who wants to come towards you, different people that they're attached to, different people that they have detached from. This is masculine and feminine energy, past, present, or near future. So you have to take what resonates and leave what doesn't. With this justice in the reverse, it's like something is not being balanced out or something did not come out, um, turn out the way that someone expected it to. And then uh, the hangman on the bottom of the deck. So somebody could have wrapped their self up in some type of situation and they're stuck. And that situation will not be balanced out for them. They didn't want something to be balanced out. This person could have did something that was injustice to you or someone else. And they, they're in this hangman energy. It's like they got their self caught up. Now they're stuck. Yeah, this is somebody that was being very sneaky, um, deceptive. They, this person caused a lot of deception behind the scenes, and they thought they were smarter than a lot of people. This person could have did a lot of stuff to um, set different people up, or they, you know, they operate in that type of energy. They steal. They cheat people out of stuff. And they use people for whatever they can get, but they think that they're, you know, above that person or smarter than that person, and that person would never know. Or people, you know, would never know. Page of Swords is here. This person was seen doing something very deceptive. They were seen doing um, strategizing and trying to plan a setup or setting somebody up or stealing or something like that. Yeah, Four of Cups is here. Now they're unhappy. Yeah, this person is unhappy. Ace of Pentacles is here. Yeah, this person could have been watching you in a sneaky, deceptive way and um, trying to set you up or gather up some type of information about you. They wanted you to feel stuck. They tried to wrap you up in some type of situation that was injustice. Now they're in this energy as they're watching you in this Ace of Pentacles energy being gifted, being abundant, starting new ventures in life. And um, they're unhappy. Everything that they tried to do in a sneaky, deceptive way, and they thought they were going to sit back at the Page of Swords and watch it, they didn't know they were being watched and everything would be rejected. Yeah, Ten of Swords is here. This is somebody that pinned their self down for harsh, painful endings. They caused endings around them. Yeah, being very childish. Yeah, this person could have paid somebody to, you know, try to set you up or do or cause endings for you or cause harm to you. And they're unhappy it didn't work out the way that they, you know, wanted it to work out. Yeah. This is sad. Queen of Pentacles is here. And then King of Wands is here. So it's like whoever it is, you could be in this Queen of Pentacles energy. You're someone that works very hard. You have your own stable foundation. This Ace of Pentacles could mean that you have your own business and you're a boss. You're someone that's very kind hearted, very giving. And um, whoever this person is that they were trying to send at you, King of Wands, this person has a lot of passion and attraction for you. And this person could have gotten um, woke to whatever was being done in a sneaky, deceptive way. Yeah. Or this person could be a um, fire sign. You could be an earth sign. You could be a Pisces. You could also be a Libra. And um, so you could be an air sign. You could be a water sign. Um, and we have earth sign energy here as well. And fire sign. So um, whoever this person is, this is someone that they were trying to send towards you as a chariot almost popped out. But they ended up getting exposed for something. Nine of Swords is here. And they're stressed out. This was deception. Six of Cups is here. And Judgment. Yeah, this person is being judged for whatever they had did in the past. And they're stressed out. They got exposed. So if they plant this out in the past, you know, some type of setup for someone to come towards you 
cause harm to you or cause endings to you, that was exposed. That person didn't even know that they were being watched. Now they're in this nine of swords energy. They're stressed out. Everything came back. Nine of cups is here and eight of swords is here. Yeah. This person is someone that is, you know, like very selfish. And it, it caused them to be in this eight of swords energy, get caught. And um, they were overindulging in whatever they were doing. Yeah, whoever that person is, they want them to be, you know, in jail for what they did. This will make someone happy if that person went to jail, is what I'm getting out of this. For whatever they did in the past. So whoever they um tried to get to come towards you, they ended up finding out it was some deception involved. And they want this person to pay for whatever they did in the past. Or this person ended up getting caught. They could have gotten wrapped up in some type of situation and that person is happy. That person is happy because this person ended up, you know, keeping their self in the eight of swords energy or getting their self caught up. This person was wishing and praying that you would feel stuck in life. This is some sad energy. Ten of wands is here. Now they're pressured, weighed down, burdened. A lot of stuff in their face that they cannot see and a lot of stuff on their back that they cannot weigh because this person was hiding this. High Priestess is here. They were trying to keep this hidden. And then Eight of Pentacles. Whoever they were working with, they were trying to hide it. But whoever the person is that they were working with, this person is attracted to you. It's like they were watching you and they were um, working with that person behind the scenes and trying to hide whatever deception that they were um, trying to come to you. Whatever they were doing in a sneaky, deceptive way and planning out something for you. It's weighing them down, and this person ended up being attracted to you. They could have promised this person some type of money, and this person didn't get anything out of it. The Wheel of Fortune is here, and then Queen of Wands is here. Yeah, so it's like this person is someone that was... Wow, this is somebody that was um, watching your finances. And they were, you know, trying to figure out how much could they get or how much you had or something like that. And whoever this person is, this person is finding out like the will of fortune, like this was destined to take place. This person could have found out King of Wands, Queen of Wands, that you're their destined uh mate someone that they're supposed to you know destined to partner up with and work with and whoever that they were working with was the enemy this was a hidden enemy this person was hiding a lot from that person and they could have went through some type of judgment in the past being attached to this person yeah high priestess and then the moon card is here this person was hiding a lot for a long time this person had different secrets. They were doing a lot of stuff in the dark for a long time. And they ended up getting caught. Queen of Swords is here. And then the Star Card is here. Yeah. So, yeah. You distance yourself from whoever that person is or you're someone that spoke the truth to that person, Queen of Swords. And you spoke the truth to that person. You could have wanted that person to heal or try to help that person because you're someone that's a healer, a spiritual teacher. Um, you were sent here to help people get woke. And they were trying to hide that from that person that you had spoke the truth so this person could heal. But as this person was watching you, 
and working with this other individual, they found out that um, deception was involved. You're this person's destiny and their purpose. Like y'all have a will of fortune together. Yeah, and this part, whoever this energy is, they didn't want something to end, the death card in the reverse. They didn't want them to go through a transformation. They knew if that person went through a transformation, they would not only get caught and exposed, but that person, they will be um, weighed down with whatever karma or burdens that they had them racked up. It's like that they would leave that person in their own ten of wands, their own burdens. Yeah, this is somebody that they possibly did dirt with. And they didn't want something to end. It's like they wanted that person to be stuck to them. Eight of Swords, Nine of Cups. They were happy when this person was in this Eight of Swords energy, binded, blinded, and tied up. For a lot of bad karmic debt. As, they're, as you're attached to a person that is at the Eight of Swords, they're binded and blinded to a lot of bad karmic debt. They have not cleared their karmic debt. They choose to stay stuck because they, they're comfortable operating in this energy. You're, you're stuck at the Eight of Swords too. And that person did not know. Two of Swords and Two of Wands. They thought this person would just be at the Two of Swords, blinded from the truth, and they would be at a stalemate. They wouldn't know which way to go. Yeah, it's like they were lying to that person. So that person would not be able to see properly. Ace of Cups is here and then the world is here. So yeah, this is a cycle that needed to be completed out because this person ended up finding out who you were to them. They found out this person not only have emotions for you, they're in love with you, and they found out you're their true love. But with this two of swords and two of wands, it's like this person, they don't know what to do. They could be in this energy. They don't want you to know. Yeah, they don't want you to know why they were watching you. It's like they started off watching you. Trying to figure out what could they get. They didn't know they were being betrayed. And they were helping the person that was trying to betray you and them. This person ended up finding out some new information as they were watching you. And they found out you're their will of fortune. You and this person have good luck and abundance together. And um, it was a cycle that they were in that needed to close. And yeah, in order for them to start over, they needed to set their self free. The fool card is here to go towards another direction because whoever that person is that they were attached to, they were happy that that person was at the Eight of Swords stuck. They were hoping and wishing that they could have that person binded to them. And this will stay hidden. And this was the ultimate betrayal. King of Swords is here. Yeah, it's like this person needed to stand up in this King of Swords energy, speak the truth, cut off things that no longer serve a purpose in their life, and cut this person off. And yeah, because this person thought they had them stuck, and they were happy, but they, they were hiding this. Eight of Cups, and then the Empress is here. They thought, yeah, they were happy. Yeah. And it's like this person, Eight of Cups and then the Emperor, this person walked away from a confused mindset because of you. You embody all queens in the deck in the upright position. You made this person realize that they were burdening their self and keeping their self stuck as they were attached to this person that was betraying them. Wow. King of Cups is here. And then eight of wands. Now this person wants to come towards you after walking away from this person. They're in this king of cups energy. 
They could have been in this King of Swords energy, very distant from their emotions as they were attached to that person. They didn't know how to express themselves properly. And that was keeping them weighed down, burdened, keeping them stuck in life. Keeping them going through betrayal. Yeah, because not only express their self like properly, be emotionally balanced, emotionally stable, knowing how to stand up for their self, express, you know, how they feel instead of hiding it. Because they're ashamed or, you know, afraid of what, how another person would feel. But this is someone that was um, betraying this person. They could have been doing some something in the dark to get this person to look at them in a certain light that was not their own. They wanted this person to think that whatever they were trying to do to you was something that would benefit them. them. But it was only keeping that person in the Eight of Swords energy and this person happy at the Nine of Cups. Continue to over overindulge in toxicity. And betraying this person. Yeah, keeping this person blocked off Seven of Wands is here from evolving into this emperor energy. They didn't want this person to mature. It's like they were playing mind games over this person. Tricks over this person's mind. To keep this person going through blockages so they would not, you know, mature or evolve. Nine of Wands is here. And they were trying to keep that person in this Nine of Wands energy, feeling nervous. Stuck in a never-ending cycle, dealing with the same thing over and over again and not getting anything out of it, going straight into the Ten of Wands. And stuck dealing with judgment. Yeah, and that's the truth, Ace of Swords clarity. Once this person found out the truth or they gained some type of clarity, this person wanted to reconcile with you, reconnect with you. And then five of pentacles is here. So this person found the truth out about somebody. These are people that, this is somebody that was close to them. Like a friend of theirs. Three of cups, ace of one, ace of swords, and then five of pentacles. This is somebody that was very low vibrational and they needed to leave that person out in the cold. Yeah, they needed to distance themselves from this person and walk away from that person. Because it's like this person was being very sneaky and deceptive, trying to plan a setup. Now they're stuck in regret. Because they're being left out in the cold. Five of Pentacles is here. They're embarrassed and ashamed because it didn't work out the way that they ex expected it to go. They just got exposed. Yeah, it caused this person to isolate four swords. This person could be in an energy where they don't want to be around people that much. They've just been in solitude, getting enlightened, cleansing their self, healing their self. And now this person is in regret. This person is juggling their, you know, they're going back and forth trying to figure out what are they going to do? Wow. Because this person done laid the situation to rest for swords is here. And isolated their self. Three of Pentacles is here. And then Ten of Cups. And then Four of Pentacles is here. So yeah, this person, they their their ultimate happiness is uh partnering up with you, working with you. Three of Pentacles, Ten of Cups. And I, as the Four of Pentacles popped out, I'm thinking to myself, what is this person holding on to? This connection. The Lovers and Four of Pentacles is here. But they've been in hermit mode. You've been isolated away from that person. You have not heard anything from that person. And then the Sun card is here. Nine of cup, I mean nine of pentacles. 
I mean, Queen of Hearts. Yeah, this person has been in hermit mode. You have not heard nothing from this person, but this person is in this energy where they're seeing things for what it is. Queen of Cups. This person is in this energy where they're coming towards you and they want you to be in that same energy. This person wants to be able to express their self to you, talk to you, and they want the, the same equal give and take. And then Nine of Pentacles is here. You're in this Nine of Pentacles energy. Yeah, they want equal give and take. Six of Pentacles is here. They want something to be balanced out. They see you as someone that's very self-sufficient, independent, abundant. You're successful. And um, you can stand on your own two feet. You've been minding your business and just focusing on your stability. While, you know, all of this stuff was going on behind the scenes. But they found out the truth. Tower is here. They could have went through multiple tower moments and a lot came out not only about this person, but stuff started backfiring onto them and they realized they were having setbacks as they were attached to this low vibrational energy that they needed to leave out in the cold. Five of Pentacles in order to have equal give and take. Six of Pentacles in order to just balance their self out. Yeah, tempers on the bottom of the deck. It's like this person needed to balance their self out and get grounded. Balance out their masculine and feminine energy and being able to express their self properly. Because this person was playing tricks over their mind and they did not know. It's like they were trying to control this person's uh, thought pattern, the way they thought about you, the way they thought about them, so they could continue to try to hide whatever they were lying about, whatever they were doing in a sneaky, deceptive way. This was a setup that got exposed. Now this person is in regret because they're being left out in the cold and they got also got caught up in some type of situation. They didn't know they were being seen as they were at the Seven of Swords, sneaky and deceptive, causing deception. Seven of Cups is here. Page of Wands and Three of Swords is here. Yeah, this person was heartbroken when they found this information out. So this could have been a friend of a friend that came and told that person the truth. Or somebody that was in their circle that they kicked it with. They found out information about this person and they came in and told them. They were heartbroken when they found this out. Because this was somebody that was close to them. That was causing this confusion. Seven of Cups is here. And then Page of Cups. This person wants to apologize about something. The Nine of Pentacles in the reverse. This person is no longer distracted or um, allowing different distractions. With this Nine of Pentacles in the reverse. King of Pentacles is here. And this person could be just focusing on their finances, their health, um, their stability. And they're focused on building a stable foundation for their future. The chariot, yeah, so they can be able to move forward and grow. The chariot and strength is here. It's like they needed to gain that, that uh, truth and clarity in order to move forward in life, in order to, you know, have growth. This person needed to regain their strength because whoever this energy is, they were draining them. And they were happy when this person was at the Eight of Swords, blinded, blinded, and stuck. And they were doing a lot of stuff that was hidden to cause confusion. Yeah, out of jealousy, five of swords is here. It's like they were determined to sabotage the connection. It's like they didn't want that person to come toward you because they knew that you were someone that was destined to partner up with that person, work with that person. They didn't want that person to know. Yeah, they were envious and jealous of this person getting to the six of wands, having victory and success. This was a, a, a rival, somebody that was a hidden enemy the entire time that was in that person's circle. And they were envious and jealous of this person, you know, getting up to the Six of Wands.
having victory and success by their self. This person would be at the five of pentacles. They couldn't take credit, wouldn't be able to take credit for this person being at the six of wands. That's why this person needed to be in the four of swords in solitude, isolated. If this person wanted what was destined for them, what God, you know, had for them, which is this ten of pentacles and six of wands. Yeah, they didn't want that person to get up. Mm -mm. They wanted control over that person's thought pattern. Now this person is sitting back watching you and they're in regret. They're, re they're, they're feeling rejected and insecure. They're unhappy about whatever they did. Wow. <laughs> yeah, they're unhappy because this person wants to connect with you. Knight of Cups is here. You could be in the Six of Wands energy. As this person was causing a lot of deception behind the scenes. Doing a lot of trickery. You're in the Six of Wands energy and Ten of Pentacles energy, having victory and success. As you mind your business and you, you did everything by yourself or you do, you work hard by yourself, you don't need help. Wow. And they're unhappy because this person wants to come in at the Knight of Cups. Yeah, because they want to start over. They want to have a new beginning with you. Ace of Wands is here. Wow. It's like this person just exposed their self. Seven of Pentacles and then the musician is here. They they invested a lot of time just, just causing trickery. Trying to be the musician of someone else's life. Trying to control someone else's life. When you invested time in yourself and you're manifesting whatever it is that you want out of life. Yeah, and you're the musician of your own life. This person wants to invest with you, build with you, and they want to manifest with you because they found out who you were to them. Yeah, this made this person make a final decision. The three of wands is here of what they want out of life. And that person is in despair. Yeah, five of wands is here. They're in despair. And this five of wands almost popped out in the reverse. It's like they're ashamed that this person found out. They didn't want that person to know that they were jealous and they tried to secretly one up that person when they knew the truth, but they didn't want that person to know. Yeah, and this person is selling away from whoever this person is that was secretly, you know, competing with them, trying to one up them. The whole time they didn't want that person to prosper. They were trying to dim that person's light because they're not a part of that person's will of fortune. They don't have a spiritual connection with that person. So they figured that they would try to get that person to help them sabotage you and they will sabotage their will of fortune, their destiny, and their purpose. It didn't, it didn't work out the way this person thought it would. This person is sailing away and look at that person as a hidden enemy and somebody that was jealous the entire time. Yeah. Yeah. Knight of Swords, Knight of Wands, and then the hair fine is here. Yeah, this is somebody that was obsessed. This person could have tried to place some type of um energy towards you because they wanted to come in at the Knight of Wands. This person is all over the place. Whatever they were playing with, it wasn't nothing nice. It wasn't nothing good. I'm also seeing that they made this person obsessed with you. It was, it's like once they found out the truth, they were in this energy where they're obsessed. They just want to come in quickly towards you. Two of Cups and Four of Wands is here. Because they want to partner up with you and this person wants a stable foundation with you. Four of Wands. Yeah, this person was being loyal to the wrong people, the wrong person, the wrong type of people because they were confused and they were blinded from the truth. This person hadn't been in a never ending cycle. In a karmic cycle that needed to be closed. Whoever they were, you know, loyal to, committed to, whoever they trusted, these are people that were in toxic devil energy. 
they would always do stuff without thinking. So that person would be doing stuff without thinking. And they, you know, they were enjoying that that person would do anything that they told them to do. And, and it's like whatever, the, it, they were placing spell work over that person to get that person to look at them in certain lights that was not their own and to respect them and to um, do whatever they say. And that person would just be confused doing whatever they say. Yeah, this person had hidden motives the entire time. These hidden motives, they didn't know what cause a transformation. They didn't know it would cause this person to go through a transformation. Aquarius is here. You could be an Aquarius. One of these people could be an Aquarius. They didn't know it would cause a change. You've changed. Yeah, the trickery. All of the trickery and um, hidden motives that this person was causing behind the scenes or doing behind the scenes, it caused the transformation. It caused the change. And they didn't see that coming. This hidden enemy. They were trying to hold on to that person because they only wanted to use them. And they could have been working behind the scenes with this person's family. I don't know why I'm getting that, like, closely. Like, manipulating them and different things like that. To try to, you know, keep that person stuck. And they were happy. Yeah, jealous family members is here. It's like, these are people that were operating in that person's energy and they didn't know. This was the ultimate betrayal. It's like they brought endings around a whole bunch of people. Now they're unhappy because everything was rejected. It didn't work. This is somebody that thought they were going to stay attached to this person and use this person and confuse, cause confusion. True love is here. Confusion is here. This person wanted to confuse this person of who you are to them. Obstacles is here. They were trying to throw obstacles in this person's path so they would not reconnect with you. Pisces is here. You could be a Pisces. One of these people could be a Pisces. And then Aries is here. You could be an Aries. One of these people could be an Aries. Karmic Feminine is here. And then Desperate is here. So it was a Karmic Feminine involved. They were desperate. They're def desperate because you're someone that has confidence. That person was desperate. They're experiencing some type of financial lack. They could have been a part of the setup or trying to set something up. Yeah, a bunch of haters. This was a bunch of haters that were trying to block your love life. Yeah, but with this page of swords, there's a private investigator involved. As I said, whatever they were doing in a sneaky, deceptive way, they were being watched. And it's not going to be any fair game. Because they intentionally did whatever they did to keep their self in the hangman energy and get caught up. And that's how they got stuck. You have powerful ancestors. Whoever these people are, they operate out of lustful energy. They were trying to place some type of lustful energy onto you and that person. But you're someone that loved yourself. That's why everything backfired. It did not work. That person realized that they were being blocked off, that they were attached to these people, and they could have been in this lustful energy. Didn't know spell work was being placed over them. This was deception. Yeah, it made them realize they needed to set healthy boundaries as they were standing by, bystander watching you. This was a cycle that needed to be completed out. These are people that were only trying to block this person's blessings. They were attached to a karmic masculine, a karmic feminine. One of these people could be a Gemini. You could be a Gemini. And then seeing things for what it is. It's like they needed to see things for what it is. That's why these people were able to keep that person blocked off from you. Because this person was not woke. They needed to realize, hey, they're at the eight of swords, stuck, binding, body, and tied up. In a toxic karmic cycle that needed to be closed. 